testing the Hover Air X1. The drone clearly has no trouble following me in the field, even if I'm not maybe going as quick as I can. Uh, this is following for me from behind, but it can also follow me from the front, and it adjusts very quickly to my change in pace. Let's be fair, quicker than I did. But um, anyway, and it adjusts again as I slow down. It also copes as I change direction. I'm shooting here in the 2.7K mode. As you can see, the dark areas are quite dark, but in general the picture quality is pretty good. No serious complaints from my point of view, and I've now turned around the drones following. Hovering above does OK. There are orbit options, and you're able to change the distance it orbits. Uh, clearly I get a little bit bored though, start so scratching my face. Um, obviously it's a bit more fun if you are cycling and the drone can cope with anything up to about 20 kilometers, 12 miles an hour. You can ask it to do one, two or three revolutions orbits for example if you're doing one of these orbit shots. Something else in the drone's favor is the relatively smooth way the camera handles the exposure as it performs the orbit. And you can also see that there isn't too much fisheye or any sort of distortion. Some drones have very wide angle lenses. Obviously I've sped this up in editing. This is now me piloting the drone manually, which offers the option to get a bit higher once you've unlocked this feature. You do hold your phone vertically rather than horizontally, which I find a bit strange. And now, finally, I'm going to walk away from the shot. Drone has no trouble following me. And then I make the peace sign and it's camera time. Oh, but you don't have to keep that pose. You get a moment.